Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Now today is officially the last day of February and I really want to do a February haul and just show you all the stuff I bought in February. Um, February has been really an interesting month. You know, I, I'll go and show, I'll do a video later on but I was promised a job from January 21st I started a new job and I quit my previous job and then on February 2nd I kind of left that job. I'll go into details of that job and why I had to leave a bit later on and I'm hopefully starting a new job either tomorrow or Friday so it's been a roller coaster of a month February but I just wanted to show you what I bought in February I did go a bit crazy because when I quit my previous job I did get a massive payout so I was able to buy a few things and survive even though I wasn't earning income for the past almost one whole month if you know me and you've watched my previous videos you'll know I love a company called Wish it's basically where you can get a lot of products really really cheaply not all of them are great quality but all the stuff I've got I'm pretty happy with so far so I ordered this on the 5th of February uh, you know I think after losing that job I was promised I was kind of depressed and I kind of just wanted to buy stuff so I got this little alpaca toy and this arrived on February 26th so just a few days ago and it was a lot smaller than I expected it to be but it's just a super cute and it's a product of Japan but it's made in China and it's from a company called Amunet or Amuse I do believe Amuse yeah I'm using, and it's just a little cute alpaca and this is from the brand Wish, the company Wish and I do believe this product was this product was $3, the shipping was $2 but then I got 25 cents off so it became a total of $4.75 plus I became a so someone bought it from me and I got a 45 cent rebate to use on my next shop so this is just this really cute little colourful alpaca so little alpaca. I didn't expect it to have a key like a chain on it, but I think I might end up putting it on a bag or something like that. And then also on the 5th of Fe February I bought this squishy and this is just a well, a unique squishy soldier soft bread. And this is super squishy and slow rising. Out of the three squishies I own, this is probably the squishiest one. And this is my also my most expensive squishy I got. The other ones were either free or like under two dollars. So f so this is my most expensive squishy so far. Oh, okay. It was four dollars. The postage was two dollars, and I got a discount of thirty cents, so it came to a total of five dollars seventy. And I ordered him on the 5th of Feb and he came on the February 23rd. So he's super cute and super squishy. Other products I got from Wish were these hair clips. You can't really see them that well but I ordered this on the 6th of February and it's a six piece uh, mini headwear rhinestone crystal little hair clips. And these arrived on February 23rd. They're super cute. I wore them in my hair on Sunday. They come in a six pack. They're quite good quality, but one of them, when you try and open it, kind of gets a little bit dented. But these were free, and I paid four dollars for the shipping. Plus, I got twenty cents off, so they came to a three dollars eighty for a packet of rhinestone hair clips. I might order these again. They're super cute, and you just can put them in your hair and style them wherever whatever you want so this is a really nice product as well so that's pretty much the stuff I got from Wish oh I also got something that arrived today so just in time for this video I do have something else on order but I only ordered it on February 23rd I ordered from Wish now I remember doing a Wish haul video before and I said I never ordered clothing from them but then I remember that a few years ago I ordered a stitch crop top from them. So I ordered this and it's a really cute shirt and it says Faith Over Fears. 
and this is unfortunately it's not cotton it's polyester the it does look a bit large this is a size medium but I tried it on and it fits quite well and it just says faith over fears and I thought that's a really cute shirt really just shirt so I ordered this on February the 10th it came on February the 28th which is today and this was originally six dollars I got a 46 cent rebate so it came, and the shipping was two dollars so it came to seven dollars fifty four in total I wish it was cotton though that's the only thing I don't really like about it that it's polyester so it will get quite hot if you were to wear it in summertime but I thought autumn's coming up soon and we've been having some cool nights so I can always wear this really cute shirt now on February the 10th I uh, went past Strand Bags and they were having a sale and I wanted to get a new wallet now the wallet I have right now I've only purchased it last year usually I try and have one wallet for two years the one I have now is Kate Hill and it's still in fairly good condition but it's starting to peel a bit and it's just a big bit large so they're having a sale like anything from 40 to 70 percent off on their product I went ahead and I put purchased this wallet uh, we were there for quite a while I decided to get this one it's genuine leather it's by the brand Colorado and it's RFID um, RFID protected so that means people cannot scan and steal your ID and it's just a lot thinner than the one I have now if you watched my video you would have seen that I purchased one either last year or the year before no last year I'm pretty sure yeah last year so this one the original price would have been eighty dollars it was down to and then it was down to forty nine ninety nine which is like fifty dollars then it went down to forty dollars which is the most expensive wallet I did have because the Kate Hill one I currently have was like originally seventy dollars and down to like twenty five but I thought it's a really good wallet it's really small you know small size compact genuine leather it's got pretty good zips and stuff I haven't used it yet I'm waiting till my other ones a bit more like broken or damaged before I start using it so yeah it's genuine leather that's why it's ex more expensive so that was on the 10th of February and that was around yeah $40 so basically got $40 off down from 80. One day I was just on Instagram and I saw this company come out called PopFit and they were having a promotion where you could order a pair of their leggings and you get it for free and you just pay the shipping so I decided to order this so for me the shipping and handling from the US was $19.50 I looked around the site and then I picked out this pair of Aurora um, leggings and these were $61.80 AUD so I just had to pay for the shipping which was $19.50 Australian dollars but then it got converted to US dollars I'll show you some screenshots of the promotion and then after I bought one pair it kept on like trying to get me to like buy more it's like uh, but first the second bonus if you join the their VIP club you can get a second pair of pop fit leggings and then there's like and if you become a VIP member you get another 40% discount and plus free shipping and blah 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 uh, it's just $39, $39 a month yeah so um, you just had to be a new customer if you never bought anything from them they sent you out a pair of leggings and I tried them on they're actually quite good but I wouldn't have paid like the, the recommended retail price for them uh, yeah and then after that they're like oh you can also get a free shirt and they just kept on like prompting stuff but I just decided to get a pair of leggings and they're quite comfortable and yeah in in American dollars that would have been fourteen ninety nine, but converted to Australian dollars it came nineteen dollars fifty and I ordered them on the eighth of Feb and they arrived on twenty second of February. So they did take quite a while to get here. Now another thing I ordered from online was 
from the company Enticing Candles and I ordered a bath bomb. You can check out my video there, I explain the whole thing when I ordered it and how much it was and everything. And then also on the 8th of Feb we went to the pharmacy and I got a pair of earrings and a larger size of the Natural Instinct sunblock. Uh, these earrings were about ten dollars, around ten dollars something, I think ten fifty, and they're sterling silver. I'll insert a picture here so you can see the details for them. But I also got these in Feb. I don't wear them that often because I do wear them, and they're supposed to be hypoallergenic, good for sensitive ears. But I've been wearing them, and I've been getting really bad, like scabbing and itchy ears so I don't wear them that often which is unfortunate because I thought they would be a lot better but they're not and then sometime in Feb as well I went to cotton on and I decided to use my cotton on voucher I had about seven dollars fifty or something left on there and I just got three oh, sorry <laughs> I got three notebooks. So I got this one, and this one's cool. It says Crazy Dog Lady. So this is my fourth notebook like this. And then I got this one that says Stay Focused, Sassy, and Sparkly. And I'm going to use this one for uni because it was it's a bit like broken. And this one says A Comprehensive Guide to Catching Your Lunch and Keeping It. And to buy all these three, they're they're five dollars each but if you buy three in total you get them for ten dollars so it's about two dollars fifty out of pocket so I got a lot of stuff I went a bit crazy perhaps one of the biggest items I purchased in the month of February was this Ashton Drake doll uh, this is the sweet baby Liam and I purchased him February the 16th and he came last week Wednesday which was February the 21st again I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do have a full video just on him and I'm going to do another updated video soon and uh, he was $50 plus postage which was $10 but I got it for $55 in total because I asked her because I was going to try and pick him up but I couldn't so I got her postage and she did ask me if I wanted the other two of them because she had three for sale but I picked out him so that was probably the biggest kind of purchase and then last week Wednesday I went to the op shop and I got a few items of clothing for him this really cute little uh, romper 0 to 3 months and it says little sailor born to sell and this was $1.25 and then I bought another onesie and this one is also 0 to 3 months, it's a bit big for him, but it says baby patch on it. And then I got two singlets also for $1.25. Like two just white singlets like this. Also, these were two for $1.25. And then I went to the reject shop and I bought a kit like this of two pack of pacifiers. We call them dummies in Australia. I modded to make into one that can fit into a reborn doll. This one I'm keeping if I ever get a reborn, a female reborn, or maybe I'll keep it for a baby. I just wanted the cheapest ones because I was going to cut them up and modify them anyway. And then on the same day, I also got this. It's an Imposse puzzle, and this was $2.25, also from Op Shop. And then I got these. These are also from the Op Shop, and this is $1.25, and they're really cute, kawaii. Um, I walk on made in Japan packet of erasers and it's got like three cats two little Kimmy dolls and then just some cushions for the Kimmy dolls to go on then finally last week Saturday went to QBD books and I got a calendar finally originally $20 down to $13 and then down from $13 to $7 and it's just an elephant one I thought it's already there in the February and I haven't got a calendar yet so 
cute. And then I also bought my brother a birthday present. I bought him this jigsaw puzzle for ten dollars, also from QPD Books, and it's a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. They had other ones. I originally was going to get him one, but then he saw it, so I decided to get him this one, and this is Byron Bay. And another thing I purchased just yesterday was the Adobe Suite, the whole Adobe a license to all Adobe, Adobe products so I can use Photoshop, I can use Dreamweaver, I can use um, After Effects and all that so it will really help my uni because we need Photoshop for some of the stuff I'm using and I mean I don't have to go into uni anymore so thanks for watching, bye!